Hello again, this is Nick from Community Builder and this is my second video blog tutorial on Community Builder 2.0. And during the first tutorial we had basically uh, installed Community Builder 2.0 on a clean Joomla 3.3.6 website. Uh, today we'll be looking a little more uh, at the Joomla at the Joomla Community Builder front end, and basically, we're, first thing we're going to do is log in using the CB Login Manager as an admin user, and once we log in, we immediately see we see two things. Basically, we see a user menu appearing, which is the Joomla user menu that was part of the default content, and we see this your profile link. If we click on it, it actually goes to the Joomla profile page. We'll need to uh, do something about that, and we will be doing uh, editing in a couple of minutes. Let's first go to the Community Builder user profile of our admin user. And how do we get there? We can just click on the avatar here. And this is what the Community Builder user profile page looks by default. We see there's a gray canvas background because it's empty and there's the empty default avatar image here. Now the first thing we probably want to do is just update these and it's kind of easy to do. All you do is do an edit, update your profile and you'll see you have these three tabs here. A canvas tab, contact info tab and a portrait tab. First thing we can do in the canvas tab is Instead of uploading an image, let's just select something from the gallery. There's a set of built-in canvas images that we can choose from. And let's just click on this one and update. And we'll see automatically our user profile looks quite different. <laughs> let's do something similar with the default avatar portrait image basically for our user. Again, we can upload something or select an image from the gallery. Let's select, how about this GNU goat here? Update. There we go, that looks much better. Now, let's just look at the other areas here. I mean, there's a connections menu that lets you manage your connections basically. We have zero connections at this point and there are zero views here. And the contact info tab basically gives us some uh, generic information, the formatted name right now, which is admin. We'll see how to change that uh, in some future tutorial. There's an articles tab here, which basically pulls in the default article that's been assigned to the admin user when we first uh, installed Joomla default content. And see, we can just click on these to go to the article or to the categories of that article. There's a blogs tab, no blogs yet, but we can click on the new blog button to create one. And there's this extra menu that currently just has the connections tab. Uh, if you click on that, there are no connections message. Okay, let's take care uh, about this user, your, your, your profile here link that goes to the Joomla user profile. We go to the back end, menus, user menu, and the first thing you want to do is unpublish this. But we also want to add a relative menu for the community builder profile page. How do we do that? If we, you remember here when we installed community builder yesterday, yesterday. It was yesterday during the first <laughs> tutorial. There's a community builder menu that was created that has all these nice shortcuts to community builder pages. So what we're going to do basically is go to our user menu, click new, and we're going to click here on the select and go to a system link and choose the menu item alias or Elias whatever your pronunciation might be. And let's just do here, title, My CB User Profile Page. 
and let's select here from the community builder menu the CB profile menu that was already created for us. So basically what this does is it creates a, a menu link to an already existing menu. There's no reason to replicate it. So let's just save and close that. Let's move that from the last position back to the first position. While we're at it, let's create another one. Again, remember how we did this? System links, menu item, Elias. You click here on the CB profile edit. Let's give it a title. Edit my CB user profile. Save and close. Let's move that also right under the other one we created. If I go to the front end and refresh the home page, we'll see here we have my CB user profile page and edit my CB user profile page. If I click the first one, it goes to my user profile. If I click the second one, it goes to the user profile in edit mode. Okay, I'm stopping now for this tutorial. I'm trying to keep these as short as possible so they're pleasantly viewed by everybody. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned for number three.